I think there is support for it. There was a piece of legislation last year that increased the credit for the end of the old <coughs> excuse me, uh, corporate income tax, reducing that rate a little bit. I know that the governor has talked a little bit about trying to even up the personal and the corporate income tax by bringing the personal down to what the corporate was. Uh, back in 2008, we passed a piece of legislation that dealt with personal property uh, tax in terms of trying to remove that. But there was uh, in 2009, we came back and put in a clause on that that we had to meet the revenue in 2007 or 2008 when it was just three point. 3.055, I think, billion dollars before that ever kicked in. I know I have a lot of businesses that uh, are very adamant about that and would like to see that taken off. Mm -hmm. uh, the local chambers around here are very much in favor of taking that off. I don't know, but you're going to have to look at it. You know, I, I, I guess that was one aspect that was not a total surprise, but a little surprise to me based on what I read in the paper this morning. Okay? Right. Because it came out in the paper this morning, and you know, he said they didn't know we do much in terms of tax breaks and this type of thing because of reduced revenue, and all of a sudden we see this $45 million in there. So I think it's just a question of sitting down and looking at the total numbers again and seeing where we are and see whether we can afford it or not. Because you're going to have those out there who say that um, on both sides of the issue, those who basically think that you know by doing these tax and stuff you increase the possibility and enhance opportunities for businesses to come in and make money and help the economy out to make that revenue back up. And you've got those people who say, well, you shouldn't be putting money in the savings account when you've got people's budgets worked out two years ago. So that's going to be the debate.